Hey guys, it's Donna, and today we have a Wantable Style Edit. So you guys are getting all kinds of Wantable Edits this month. <laughs> so I loved my last Wantable Limited Edition Valentine's Edit so much. I went ahead and got another box. <laughs> so this is another style box, um, but I just love Wantable lately. I feel like they get me. I like their selection of styles and colors and all kinds of things. This is actually one of the tops that I just got in my Valentine's box. I love their limited edition themes as well. The stylists stick to like one idea and then they pick items, but you still have a say in what you like. If you use their stream is what they call it, um, you can go on and request certain items. It isn't guaranteed you'll get it, but at least the stylist gets a better idea of who you are. Um, you can also reject things. So again, it just kind of builds on your style profile, really. And sometimes I do select the items that you pick in there too, which I think is also a really cool option. Um, another nice thing about Wantsable is they do send seven items, which I think is a nice balance of items. And then if you keep five or more of the items in your box, you also get an additional 20% off. So it's just an extra bonus, I think. Um, plus, Wantsable is kind enough to give my viewers $35 off of their first box. So that link is below in the description. So if you've never tried Wantsable, I highly recommend it. And I'll leave that link below. Um, they do have a $20 styling fee but anything you keep in the box at 20 20 dollars will get applied to anything that you do keep i think that's enough talking for now what do you guys think um so they have a whole range of stuff too that you can get not just clothing but they also have some accessories so you just have to make sure you tailor your profile to what you're really looking for you can leave a note as well for each edit um is what they call it um for your stylist so if you're looking for something specific make sure that you leave a note for your stylist Right, they give you simple instructions here on the box. So they make it as easy as possible. I always love how personalized they get there with that cute little sticker. Right, let's see here. You have five days to try them on in your house. There you go, this is our little invoice. They also, they give you the traditional um, label on your envelope for USPS, but they also give you UPS as an option. So if you prefer UPS, you can send it back that way as well. All right. I already like this top here. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So it is a cute little sleeveless top. I'm gonna get a little closer, but it has these cute pleats here. And I like the neckline. I think that is cute and so unique. And then it has this nice flow. So it's not gonna be clinging where it shouldn't be clinging. Oh, I just noticed. So even this fabric, I hope that picks up in there, has a pattern on it. Isn't that cute? Skies are blue. I seem like I've been loving that brand lately. I feel like I've gotten a lot of pieces and they're the pieces that I wear all the time. Um, so this is a new brand to me, but I'm loving this brand. So it's really cute. I think that would be cute for work if I had a cardigan with it or with a pair of jeans. So there's kind of some versatility to that. All right, this one is by Supply and Demand. It's a nice ivory color sweater. Um, it does have a horizontal pattern there in the stitching. Go a little closer, so we're like all about patterns today, which is nice. <laughs> Curious to see how this v-neck looks on me. I don't like too low of items, um, but it's really soft, it's super soft. Okay, <laughs> another skies are blue. Oh, I know I requested this one. So on their stream, this shirt kept popping up in all kinds of colors. I mean, all kinds of colors. And I really have loved burgundy this year. And so this is the one that I requested, but there are other colors. There are blues and I saw yellow. I think I saw green on there, black. Um, but I thought this was adorable. So the sleeves have like a polka dot pattern and the back, the back sheer too. Oh, that's cute. The back also has a polka dot pattern. And then the front, is solid and then the top along the top is solid. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, oh, look, there's even buttons <laughs> along there. And then I think I already said, this is by Skies or Blue too. I just love the design of that brand. I feel like they're really thoughtful in what they're doing. Okay, this one is by Re, uh, Recreation or Recreation, I guess. Oh, I don't know, I'm terrible with brand names. This is by Thread and Supply. That's cute. So I have been itching to get out to start walking and I, I kind of walk jog. I walk more than I jog, but I need some warmer wear because I am not ready for <laughs> being out there in the cold weather. But I think as it warms up a little bit and gets into the 50s, 60s, I'm still going to need something like this in the mornings. Um, this is really cute. It's got zipper pockets here in the front. Of course, a full zip and it does have a hood and it comes up a little bit higher so that when you are running, just your face is exposed. It'll kind of cover that neck area. And then I was looking to see, yep, it has thumb holes. Okay, that's cute. Ooh, what 
is this? Mm, not sure about this one. This one's very hairy, very furry. <laughs> it's heavy too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is like one of those shackets. I have not had very good luck with shackets. Um, it's a shirt jacket, apparently. Looks like a shirt, but you wear it as a jacket. Um, this is probably one of the cuter ones I've seen. The ones they've tried to send me are plaid, like trucker jacket style, um, which I have not liked. Um, but this is more of a feminine style, it looks like. It does have a really nice thick sweatshirt material on the inside, and the outside's very, very soft. This is by Z Supply. It's very heavy. Also has some cuffing and buttons there on the, um, the cuff there. I don't know, we'll see. Always keep my mind open. Oh. Oh, there's two pairs in here. Okay, there's jeans. So, okay. All right, so these are actually, I think, identical to the same style um, as the last jeans that I got in my box. Um, but these have distressing on them. My other ones did not. I did end up keeping them because I loved them. They fit me like a glove. They were amazing. They have the buttons here in the front. Um, these are by Verve, and the style is amber. And I cannot say enough about these, but these are even cuter with the distressing on them. So I'm excited to try those on. The other ones do not have distressing, but they have the raw hems at the bottom, if you remember that. And then they sent me a pair of cut from the cloth. This is a darker style, has some bigger buttons. I don't know, it takes a lot for me to wear buttons and the Verve jeans were the first ones I've ever owned with buttons. So I don't know, cut from the cloth. We will try though. Um, this has a little bit of distressing too on the knee. Um, and it is a darker, oh, that's an interesting hem. So it's actually shorter in the front than it is in the back. And I feel like it's more of a boot cut than like a skinny jean that I'm used to. Um, it does say ankle straight leg, straight leg. Okay, so they're a little bit more fit for a pair of boots or something like that. So I don't know, I like what I see though. So let's try some of these things on, I can't wait, hang on. All right, so for the first outfit, I went ahead and paired the lighter ivory colored top with the cut from the cloth jeans. I thought the darker jeans would look better with the lighter colored top. Um, let's talk about the top first. So I do really like the horizontal lines. It's very sheer though, so I do feel like I would have to wear something underneath of it um, because it's very sheer, um, which is a little surprising because it does feel like a nice thicker quality material. It just must be the color or maybe the pattern is causing that. Um, the sleeves are cute. They're like a dolman sleeve almost, like it's going almost all the way down. And it does have a longer cuffing here on the, the ends. So I like that. The waist, it's a shorter waist, so you have to be aware of that. Um, I can't do my traditional pull down <laughs> that I like to do. Um, so I don't know. I have some mixed feelings about the top, but what do you guys think? Um, let's talk about the jeans. So the jeans, um, they fit very nice. The waist fits. Um, but I, I don't know, these buttons were harder to button up than the Verve jeans and the crotch hangs a little bit lower than what I'm comfortable with. And also the wide leg at the bottom, not a fan of it. Um, and even putting them on, my foot got stuck in this large, large hole here. <laughs> I just think it's a younger style. I don't know if it quite fits my style and it just feels really baggy throughout the legs here. I'm so used to skinny. Yes, I'm the mom. I like the skinny jeans still, even though they're going out of style apparently. I am that mom that still likes them. So I'm going to stick with my skinny jeans. <laughs> All right. Speaking of that, let's try on those Verve's. Hold on. All right. This is way more my style. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. So here's the top. Let's talk about that first. So I love this. I think it's a cute design with this V-neck and then this thinner strap around the neck here. I think that's adorable. And I like the cut on it as well. It does pick up dog hair. It's very um, staticky today in my house um, because of the heat. Um, but I just love these patterns on here. <laughs> and I like the flow. I don't feel like it's clinging to me where it shouldn't be clinging. I think it's really cute. And I think I could dress this up for work um, and make it really cute with a colorful cardigan um, and some nice dress pants. So this tank top is definitely a keeper. And I think it'd be really cute with some longer shorts as well for my summer trip um, this year. So I don't know, what do you guys think? And then a nicer shirt with some distressed jeans, if I can talk today, um, I think is a really cute idea too. So the Verve's don't disappoint either. These are super cute. They fit just like my other ones, but they have the distressing, um, which I'm gonna need here in the springtime for a little bit of extra. Let's see what the pockets, oh yeah, the pockets are really cute too. So, oh, there's a little hole in this pocket, <laughs> but that's okay, they're really cute. They do have um, pockets here in the front as well. 
and the button fly, but they fit amazing. So it's a cute little outfit. All right, I'm kind of scared to move on to the next ones, but I think the other ones are cute too, so hang on. All right, I really love this top too. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're picking a lot from Wantable lately, aren't we? All right, so where do we start with this top? I like the design. It has a nice cut to it as well. The fit is really cute. Check these sleeves out though. I just love these sleeves. There's so much detail. And these are like raised stitched circles, these polka dots. I think that's really cute. The only thing I need help with is the back because the back is sheer. So I feel like if I wore maybe a black tank underneath of this, it would be okay. And you wouldn't see the straps because it has a solid back. So let me show you that real quick. So you see it's pretty much open. Um, so you can see my bra strap there probably <laughs> as we're looking at this. Um, but the top would show any type of straps if I had a tank or camisole underneath of this. So what do you think the intention is there? What should I wear underneath of this top? Because I'm definitely keeping it. I just have to figure out how to wear it. All right, we've got two more things. Hang on. So here's the shacket, the famous shacket. <laughs> this is probably my favorite shacket that I've seen so far. And even Wantable has tried to send me shackets that I have not liked. It's hard to say that word without laughing. Um, but... I still don't know if I'm a fan, but I think that's just a personal preference. This one is the cutest that I've seen. So it's just that oversized men's shirt look. Um, I don't like that there's no pockets here. They do have pockets that are open here. So I guess I could throw something in there if I needed to, like my keys, but that would look kind of awkward probably. Um, it's really cute. I mean, it does button in the front. Super, super soft. I mean, like I hope you can see the softness in the picture there. <laughs> No, I don't know if it's something I need in my life. That's probably my holdup. It is really cute with the burgundy, though. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I do love to hear what you have to think in the comments. And then I have that one running top real quick. So, hang on. All right. So, here is the cute little purple track jacket, I guess is what you want to call it. It does zip all the way down, um, which I like. It's very thick. So, I can tell it's going to be really warm. So now I'll have no excuses to stay inside <laughs> because I have this top. It has really comfortable pockets on the inside here. And there's actually a, it's a hidden pocket in the pocket. So you could tuck your key or chapstick or something or money up inside the pocket. I've never seen that before. I think that's really cute. Um, it has the nice thumb holes and they're in a perfect location to keep my hands warm as well. Oh, I think this is really cute. And it's going to be perfect for those chilly morning runs. All right, let's get together, though. The ultimate question is, what does all of this cost? So hang on. So I think overall, I really enjoyed this box, too. So another thumbs up for one. <laughs> You've really been winning lately. Um, but let's take a look at the prices so you can kind of get a better idea on maybe helping me with what I should be keeping and what I shouldn't be keeping. All right, so we'll start with this top because I thought this was super cute. So I put it back on. It's really just fun. Um, this one is by Skyser Blue. This is the scoop neck sheer back long sleeve top in burgundy. And this one is $59. And as I mentioned, I had already requested this one because I just thought it was super cute. And they have tons of colors in it. So if you like the style, but you don't like the color, go on their stream and I'm sure you'll find something that you like. All right, let's talk about the Verve jeans that I also loved and requested. These are by Verve. These are the Distressed Buttonfly Skinny in Medium Blue. And these are $58, which I think is definitely reasonable for a pair of jeans that I know I'm going to wear a lot. <laughs> All right, what about the little hoodie here that I can run in? This is the Thread and Supply Maria Hoodie in Nostalgia Rose Malang, and this one is $64. So, I don't know. I mean, it is a very nice, heavy duty. Like, even just holding it in my hand, it's very heavy. Um, so, I know it's going to wear well and probably wash really well, um, which is really important for exercise clothes, if you ask me. All right. My other favorite top here. This one was also by Skies Are Blue. Sleeveless V-neck top in black. And this one's only $48. That's so cute. Apparently I requested that one as well. So didn't even know it. <laughs> All right. How about this cream top? This one I'm a little mixed feelings on. I'm not quite sure on. This one's the Supply and Demand Kaya Top in Ivory. And this one is $59. So again, it's a very nice quality. I'm just not sure how sheer it is. I guess I'll see when I we watch the video. Um, but I do like the um, horizontal stripes on it. I thought that was kind of neat. Okay. Then two more pieces here. The shacket. The shacket mixed feelings on the jacket. This is by Z Supply. This is the Jack Jacket in Heather Latte. Definitely a latte color. This one's a little too steep for me. $109. I 
Very nice though, very great quality. I just haven't jumped on this trend yet, so I definitely don't think I wanna spend that much money on something like that, but it is a very nice heavy duty quality, which is great. All right, and lastly is the Cut From The Cloth Reese High Rise Ankle Straight in Parish, and these are $92, so I'm glad I didn't like those because I probably wouldn't have paid that either, um, but these just didn't fit me right. I didn't like the cut on them, but overall, I think I may at least be able to keep five of the pieces, so reminder, you also save 20% off. So the total box price is $4.89, but if I were to keep five or more items, and I kept the whole box actually, it would take $97.80 off of the box total. So I think that's pretty cool. Plus don't forget the link below. You get $35 off of your first box if you haven't tried Wantable before. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you liked what you saw. If you liked the video, even if you didn't like the clothes, make sure you hit that like button below and always subscribe and click the bell so you see all my style videos when they come out. All right, till next time guys, happy styling.